Hey, welcome to this course on how to produce music in Logic Pro 10. It's an introductory course for beginners. It teaches you how to operate the software and how to actually create music. My name is Joseph Evans Jr. I'm a music producer, been doing it for over 10 years, have placements in TV and film. Just check my resume, it's in my um, you know, profile. But at the end of the day, man, I want you to walk away from this course feeling confident that you can produce music, get the music that's in your head out and do it here in this software program. Now, when I first started producing music on Logic Pro 10, it was a little bit intimidating because they had a new interface and everything like that. I was actually a Logic Pro 8 user and I upgraded and it seemed a little bit overwhelming. So I went ahead and already got through the kinks and bells and whistles and everything like that. And I have this course for you to help you get through it, but quicker. OK, so we're going to cover a couple of different things. Like I said, we're going, I want you to walk away from this thing, really understanding how to operate the software and get know where everything's at. And really mainly the main thing that you need to do to make beats. OK, so we're going to cover that in the first section. In the second section, we're gonna cover Logic Pro 10's drummer application. Now, if you ever never heard of the drummer feature in Logic Pro 10, it's an amazing uh, opportunity for you to get ideas out quickly because they have some pre-made drum uh, patterns and pre-made drum sounds that you can actually manipulate and customize to fit whatever style and genre of music that you're producing music in, okay? It's an amazing uh, application and I'm going to teach you everything about it, just the basics to get you really going with this thing, okay? Now, don't worry if you're a producer who likes to create your own drum patterns and everything, I'll show you the basics of how to do that as well. We're also gonna cover how to build your actual beat and make it into a song in the software. There's some several cool tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, and I'm gonna show you how to do those same, same things in the software too. All right, and that's gonna happen mainly in this third section on MIDI. All right, now MIDI is a music stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. I covered that in detail in this course. Don't worry, it might sound like it's going over your head, but it's a real simple concept. And I'm going to show you how to use MIDI to create some amazing drum patterns and amazing beats as well. I'm giving you all the tools you need as a producer, all the tools you need as a creator to get started producing music in Logic Pro 10. All right. So it's a 30 day money back guarantee on the software and uh, not the software, but the course. And I'm I stand behind it because I'm confident that after you take this course, you're going to be able to operate the software and make beats and make comp and compose music in, 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 in the program. So uh, without further ado, go ahead and enroll. And please know this. I'm here to answer any questions you may have along the way.